So racetrack builders out there available for purchase if you'd like it. Since the last video I've been working on um, customising it a little bit in um, that we have this screen slightly altered and we've got this thing called a target. So if we want to target a particular game then the materials, the cross sections, the shaders used to, to colour it and the blending techniques are slightly different. Um, I'm going to talk about the terrain to begin with and I'll just do a quick refresher on what RTB was doing before. So we've got these different textures up here you could paint onto the terrain and if I use the W key you can see that more smaller triangles are being created and the blending happens between those triangles so as it goes from one material to another, let's do a standout material here um, you can see that the blending just goes along the lines there out from one vertice to the other. Uh, it's called vertex blending and uh, not all games support that and in fact um, uh, a set of Corsair and R Factor 2 prefer to use different blending techniques so I'm just going to delve into a set of Corsair for a moment and they've got their multi-layer shader which is what we're using. You could go back to using the RTB blending um, but the blending doesn't actually work when you go to export it if you're using multiple different materials so I would just stick with multi-layer probably for, for targeting a setter um, unless you're just using the, the one material um, that, that's going out. Um, you can play around with that and you'll see the results for yourself. The main difference between the, the different techniques for um, painting the terrain is that the um, Aesthetic Course and Multilayer uses a couple of textures um, and here we set the texture size um, that we're going to use. So in this case um, I'll just leave it at, at that default there and um, yeah, give it a little bit of random noise there so that we have something I'll, I'll select a subdivision and we'll use um, the other X pack there. We'll go with that. Okay, so there we've got a, a bit of nice terrain and um, yeah, I'll just plant somewhere around the centre there and um, yeah, we'll dive in and um, create a, a little bit of editing. So um, I'll just paint on here and you can see things slightly different. It's probably a little bit neater around the edges and it, and it really does depend on the size of the texture but what we're doing here is painting directly into the texture itself and we're saying um, into that bitmap we're saying what, which of these four colors and, and there are limitations to to this shader as well that you can you know, can have four different textures going in there um, for any given time um, it's saying into that texture which one am I going to put there or which blend of them so if I start painting this it's actually if we zoom in it's actually a blend of them to begin with if I keep painting then the other one comes out nice and smooth um, so that's um, that, that can create some pretty nice effects you can paint the, the terrain down to a pretty small level there in addition to that um, their, their shader also has the concept of uh, a base colour so you can actually lighten the area and I'll just soften the strength here so, so it's a more subtle effect so you can have some areas just a little bit lighter or hold the shift key and it'll be a little bit darker for you you can also, this is, doesn't have to be limited to black or white you could use one of the, the colours there so if you wanted something, if you wanted the sand to be a little bit more yellow in places, you know, maybe it's a kid's sand pit, um, then um, go right ahead and do it. The, the last icon you will have spotted is the sunshine. Now to see the sunshine coming out, this is just editing the specularity. Um, we can edit the materials of that background, select a set crank up the specular amount and um, hit OK to that so we see it's oh way too shiny um, that, that's sort of not realistic so holding shift down you could rub that 
I purposely set um, a very high um, setting back here in the, the specular here just so that we could really highlight what this is about. Um, I wouldn't really advise you, you do high specularity but um, I, I held shift down there and, and painted the terrain and that's given us a low specularity here. Um, so if I just shrink our tool you can hold shift uh, control and uh, move in and out to, to control both the radius and the, the strength. Um, so what you can do is just click there with this specularity and it's getting brighter and you see it's got a nice shiny spot. If I turn away from the sun it's unaltered. The specularity only is um, the reflection of the, the light source so uh, you've got to be on an angle where the light source is bouncing off it and it shows up there. Um, so they're basically the features of the terrain. The, the good advantage of this is that you've got um, one big triangle there. If I were to drag a, a road across it, yeah, let's keep it at that one. Drag a road across it. Let's turn wireframe off now. Um, those textures are coming through um, nicely, so you can be sitting here at the road. And if you wanted to paint through here and just rub there at the side, you can if you wanted to make it a little bit dirtier. Um, yeah, you can do that. Um, and obviously the, those colours are, are blending through there too if you wanted to make that darker or lighter you could switch it back or pick one of the standard colours there and away you go. Um, so it's, um, it's great in that it doesn't use a whole lot of polygons it does use some rather large textures and those textures at the moment are covering the whole of this terrain so depending on what you set at the start here um, will determine how fine a granularity you have um, over it here. I do plan to, uh, like with, with Google, um, I do plan to allow you to select an area of terrain here and then map out a second set of um, textures from Google so that you get higher definition but only in certain places. Um, but for the moment, if you were to use um, Google Earth here and um, go and capture, then you're going to get a, a 4096 by 4096 texture that covers your your whole area. So you've got to be careful um, when you first say how big you want your area is to be, because the texture is just going to be stretched over that area. Um, in future, yeah, one of those plans is to be able to just grab another high detailed image just for a small area and that should um, help um, make things look even prettier but I think that's a, a pretty nice result and I'm, I'm really happy way, with the way things are turned out and um, yeah R Factor 2 does something uh, very similar um, oh we should go and export that out and see what it looks like in AC hey alright just click the export there away it goes it's done exit out we'll load up a set of course open FBX open our project it comes uh, we're very you know, oh, it's down the randomness took the the uh, landscape down underneath us a fair way so let me just quickly oh, too far too far too soon there we go uh, I'm not a fan of the controls in this editor but there we go We've got the terrain in there, and it's looking like a nice mixture of things. Um, you can play with the illumination and uh, get it across and across the track there. And um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope those that have bought RTP so far are enjoying it, and um, yeah, can't wait to add more features. Thanks for watching.